Yeah, you can see me. Wonderful. Hello, hello. Um, just before we get started, I wanted to say that although my name on the screen says Mossy, my name is Tom. Um, and I was going to ask, could everyone please mute themselves, but turn your camera on so I can see what you're doing, but I don't have to listen to the ruckus you make. Awesome. Just gonna wait a couple of minutes just um, in case some extra people roll in a little bit late. Um, but it's very good to see you all. Awesome. Now, if some of you don't have rings, then that is all okay. Um, but there is going to be some shooting in this session. And if you don't have a ring, then I'll um, come to you guys for some ball handling or other training. Okay. Awesome. All right. There we go. Correct. Right. So I need the training. Can't dribble. Fantastic. All right. So again, uh, I'm just going to ask if everyone could please mute their camera, uh, mute their devices and turn on their cameras. Um, my name is Tom. I play for Franks and Blues. That's why I have a shirt. No, it's not. I stole the shirt from Jared, but he still loves me. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get started with a little warm-up. So we don't need our basketball just yet, okay? So uh, the first thing we're going to do, just find a little bit of space. Still people rolling in. So we'll get there. All right. So if just find a little bit of space. Um, I hope you can see my feet. If you can't, I'll just describe it really, really well. So we're going to do, you're just going to do one defensive slide into a groin stretch, okay? So just turning off our, just muting yourself and turning on your cameras, everyone. But just one defensive slide into a groin stretch, okay? So we're just gonna get nice and loose. And we're also make it a little bit functional. So we're doing something that relates to basketball while getting loose. So just go for a few of these. So defensive slide, then sit back and feel your groin stretch. So a groin is the inside of your upper leg. So you should feel this stretch. My phone is on 10% battery. So we're gonna hope last, honestly. But um, just in case I drop out randomly, suddenly, it's because my phone died. Okay, but we're going to hope for the very best. All right. Awesome. So the next one we're going to do um, is we're going to do lunges. So, but this time we're going to have our basketball. You can see. Awesome. So we're just going to be going forward and dropping down, dropping that back knee. So we're stepping forward, dropping that back knee. You'll feel a little hip flexor stretch. After you put that leg forward, bring it back. Oh. It's the same with the other leg, okay? And then drop that back knee. All the while, you're going to be dribbling oh. with your right hand. Then down our legs. And okay? 
up. Like the job. I can, hear, I can hear some instruction, and it's great, but I can I please have everyone mute themselves? Good job. So just go for a few of these. All right, now we're going to cross over to our left hand. We're going to do a few more. This time we're doing the basketball with our left hand. job everyone awesome okay this next one we're gonna do is a popular session all right next one we're gonna do you're gonna be drilling with one hand with your other hand you're gonna grab your other foot and do a quad uh a thigh stretch what we call our quad the quad is the front part of your upper leg okay so dribbling with one hand, with the other hand, you're doing a quad stretch. Awesome. Once you've done that for a little bit, swap uh, sides. So dribble with the other hand, stretch with the other leg. Stand up nice and tall. Feel that stretch. Hopefully your legs aren't as tight as mine. So my, tight, my legs are very, very tight. I need to stretch more. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh, find a wall. Or if you don't have a wall, actually, we'll do this one on the ground. Okay. So putting our basketball down for a second. What are you going to do? You're going to put your hands on the ground. Um, I hope you can see me. I'll go back. So hands on the ground. You can put one foot over the top of the other one. You straighten both legs and you should feel a calf stretch. Okay. So, I know you're young and you probably, none of you have probably done this kind of stretch before, but I need it. So we're going to do it. <laughs> awesome. All right. Feeling good. Let's get into some dribbling. So, what we're going to start off with is I'm going to get you to have a little bit of an area. So I've got about four, six, five meters here. Okay. All you're going to do is you're going to uh, go up and back. We're going to be nice and low. Uh, we're going to be nice and low doing crossovers below our knees. Okay. So up, we're walking forwards. Nice and low, and we're going to come back, walking backwards. Okay. Now, what I want you to try and do, I want you to try and do a, try and do a dribble every step. So we're doing little crossovers. So walking forward on the way up. Once you get out of space, you're going to come and do the same backwards. Okay. So we want to dribble with every step. Okay. Just go for that for a few seconds. Uh, rounds. So try and challenge yourself. We're just, we don't have to challenge yourself. Sorry, it's just a warm up. So you don't have to go too hard. I can't see you. Yeah, I can. Good job. Well done, Izzy. Good job, Kobe. So once you get up to the top, do the same walking backwards. Well done, Zara. Good job. Now, can anybody tell me uh, what letter of the alphabet do we want to draw when we do a crossover? Um, just unmute yourself and tell me if you know the answer. I'll give a you a tip. Well done, well done me. Awesome. So we're doing our crossovers in, in a V now. To get a little bit more fancy, what I want you to try this time 
is go between our gait. Now, what, what our gait is, is between our knee and our foot. So just our shin. And what that means is the ball has to go in between the gait. So they have to cross and go below the knees. Okay. Now, the way you do this is by getting nice and low, um, bending your knees, bending your back a little bit, but not too much. You want to be able to still look up. Okay, and then getting your ball out nice and wide. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, um, but now we're going to do go nice and wide. Okay, so nice and wide with our crossovers. So just challenging ourselves a little bit. I've got cracks in my ground, but that is okay. Awesome. Awesome, great job everyone. Good job, well done Tom. Nice and wide, well done Molly. Good job. Job Kobe, keep walking, good job mate. Well done Armstrong kids, keep going Zach. Or oh, you can pass the ball Zach. <laughs> well done. All right. Good. So um, now we're going to do, we're going to do, just change that one more little bit. Doing the same thing, but now this is what I call rocking with the ball. Okay. So everyone can just see the camera for a second. Just see how we're doing crossovers now. This is what I call rocking. Okay. So my body is just swaying with the flow of the basketball. So wherever the basketball goes, my body just naturally rocks with it. Okay. Now, a lot of you will do this, you know, without thinking about it. But now I really want you to try and think about it. Okay. So, we're going to be rocking with our crossovers this time. So, every time we do a crossover, we rock with it. What ends up, happen what ends up happening is that we can get the ball out even wider. All right. Give that a go. So, same thing, walking up, forwards and backwards, rocking with our crossovers. We have more people coming. Awesome. All right. So, walking forwards and backwards with our crossovers, rocking from side to side. Just sway those shoulders, sway those hips. Get your body moving. If you want to really challenge yourself, try and rock quickly. Not easy. And I can't see you again. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Awesome. All right. Well done. Next thing we're going to do, using our same space, we're now going to go through the legs. Now, if it's too hard for you to go through the legs just by walking, what, we're gonna, what you can do is take a dribble or two after each two legs. So, a couple of dribbles through the legs. One, two. One dribble through the legs. One dribble through the legs. Okay, and you're going to try and do it. Or if you can, I'll face this way, actually. It makes more sense. You just go through the legs, each dribble. Then once you reach out of space, you're going to do the same thing going backwards. Okay? Remember, we want to stay nice and low. Take big steps and have a low dribble to make it easier for yourself. So big steps and low dribble to make it easier for yourself. Going forwards and backwards if you need to. Again, you can take a dribble in between each two legs, okay? But the end goal is to be just walking or putting that ball between the legs. Ready, go for it. Job is it. Just a reminder, it is all okay to make mistakes. See, keep trying, Armstrong kids. Good job. Well done, Zach. Good job, Kobe. Good job, Zara. One, well Izzy. 
Job Molly, job Tom. That's it. Try and keep your eyes up. One Hannigan's. There's Ben. One Ben. Awesome. All right. Great. Now we're going to do, do the same thing. Oops. But behind the back. So you've fallen over. All of you have my camera. All right. Same thing, but now behind the back. So going forward and backwards, dribbling the ball between, behind our back. Same thing applies. You have to, you can take a dribble in between each dribble. Sorry, that doesn't make any sense. Here, yeah, dribble in between each behind the back. Okay. Fantastic. Go for it. Got the job. Awesome. Right. All right. We're going to do a little bit more dribbling. So, what I need everyone to do is get two markers. Okay. So, preferably kind of big, but if you don't, that's okay. If you have a cone, that works. Two cones, two shoes, uh, two dogs, two sisters, two cats, two chicken parmigianas. See if anything works. I've got a bin and a chair, okay? So, maybe you can see them. All right, so what we're gonna be practicing here is uh, okay. We're trying to practice uh, an advanced idea of the arm bar. Okay, so the arm bar is dribbling with your arm up, you're protecting the basketball with your body. Okay, now it's not always easy just to be dribbling with the arm here. Okay, sometimes you're going to be doing crossovers, moving the ball around. So, but then someone might swipe at the ball. So, what you got to be able to really do, be able to do and ready to do, is block their arm. Okay. So, what we're going to do here, you got your two markers. We're doing a crossover and then block it. Crossover and then block it. So, as you do a crossover, you're going to touch the thing, the object that's in front of you. So, I'm going to cross over towards the chair. So with my right hand to my left, so right hand to my left. After I do that crossover, my right hand is going to touch this chair. Okay, so cross over, touch the chair. Cross over, touch. Okay. So what I want you to do after each crossover, have a couple of dribbles in between, cross over and then get that touch. Now, if you're nice and low, that's okay. Do the same, just try and touch that thing that is going to be on the ground, nice and like a cone or something. You might have to work on your flexibility a bit. Well, that's probably better for you, uh, for you. Good job, so give that a try. Awesome, so we're crossing over and then protecting the ball with the hand that just bounced the ball. Job Hannigans. Well, I'm Ben. Job Ty. Cover you, I can't see. Good job, Tom. Awesome. That's it. So try and, just for all of you, 
try and when you do the crossover, try and immediately follow that hand. So don't cross over and then put it there. Try and just one motion, just cross over and there it is. Okay, cross over and you're blocking it. So then when you come in in a game and you cross over, they try and steal your arms already in the way. They can't get the ball off you. Good job, guys. Well done. Awesome. All right. Now we're going to do, this is a little bit different. So now we're going to work on some footwork. But same idea, I want you to use your markers. Okay, so now, this is what I call a drop. Okay, so it's a move in a game where you're bouncing the basketball and you drop your foot to the opposite side of the basketball is. So if I'm bouncing the ball on my right hand, when I drop, so I drop my weight, I get low, my left leg is going to go towards the marker. Okay, and so what it looks like, it's drop and then you go. All right, so all we're going to just practice now is just the drop. We're not going to go yet. Okay, so we're just going to be dribbling. I just want you to practice dropping, okay? Once you've done a couple on one side, I want you to try and do the other side. So just dribbling and drop. So drop. So if, I don't know if you can see my feet, but I'm stepping. So I'm dribbling with my left hand. I'm stepping towards the right with my right foot, okay? Now, I've got a saying, and I believe it with all my heart, um, that is eyes sell lies, okay? So... What I want you to try and do, if you're faking, so if you're going to step with your right foot, I want you to look that way, okay? So if I'm going to step with my right foot that way, I'm going to look to my right. Does that make sense? So I look that way. Okay, if I'm going to step with my left foot, when I'm doing with my right hand, I'm going to look to my left. So I'm dribbling with my right hand, step with my left foot. I'm looking where I'm stepping. Okay, so I'm looking where I'm faking. The eyes are selling the lies of the fake. So try that out. Good job, Kobe. So, good job, good job. Hold on, Zach. So, Zach, faking the other way that you're dribbling. So, if you're dribbling with your right hand, you're faking the left foot. Good job, guys. Awesome. All right. We're going to get into it now with some oops, the camera here with now with some shooting so we're going to work on it so i want you to put set up a little triangle okay so i need you to have three markers i have three cones because i'm very very lucky okay and maybe you can't see those cones but i want you to all right we'll see how this goes There's one cone. Hopefully the phone doesn't get pushed in the wind. And here is my two other cones. So you set up a little triangle. Now you're gonna start behind the top marker, which is right here. Okay. And we'll All right. Yeah. 
sådan du har. All right, guys. Yeah, wait one second. I'll be back, okay? Yeah. Can I please get a thumbs up if you can hear me? Awesome. That's great. All right. So, what I want you to do, you so you're going to see you. Okay. Well, thank you. But you have to use your imagination for a second. Okay. So, you've got your triangle, okay, of markers facing the ring. Now I want you to do our drop move. So if you're dribbling with your right hand, then you're gonna step with your left foot, okay? To the other side of the cone. And then you're gonna go in for a layup, okay? So. Okay, my camera is off. And you know what? This might be the solution. All right, how's that work? All right, you're gonna see me through a window and hopefully it works. <laughs> All right, stay there. You know what, I'm trying my very best. And Honestly, the best I can do. Stay there. All right, you know what? That's going to do for now. Awesome. All right. I can't see you. But you can see me. So interpret that how you wish. But this is what we're going to do. So I'm, you're going to imagine that this bin here, that I'd say you could probably see, is the ring. And you're going to have your cones like so. Okay, now. We're gonna practice our drop move. So dribbling with the ball in my right hand, you're going to step with your left foot and then attack the ring, finishing in the basket, not the bin. You have your own ring, but my ring's that way, okay? So what I want you to try and do, you're gonna do a drop going around this other cone into a layup, okay? Now you're going to try and do five on each side, okay? I'm going to come back and see you all. Ready? Go for it. Awesome. Great job, guys. I can see you. I'm here now. Awesome. Great job, Tom. That's it. So drop your weight. I just want to make this work. Oh, no. 
right there. Right back. Your ring is too far and you can't move it. What do you mean? You think I'm going to find? Izzy, it's okay. If you can't use the ring, oh, it's okay. Don't be, don't worry if I can't see your ring. That's all right. You just keep doing this, the moves. And once you're done, come back to the camera. Awesome. All right. So you can now see my ring. And I'm going to set up my cones. All right. So now, awesome. Hello there. Okay. Now, I reckon you can see this. We're doing the same thing, but now we're going to try and add a retreat dribble. So, hopefully, you can see this. Okay, so I got my three cones. Now we're going to do the same move, our drop. Okay, so I'm drilling here. I'll do my drop. I'm going to that cone. Once I get here, Doing a crossover and coming back, okay, to our first cone. After that, we're attacking the ring and shooting a layup, okay? So in full speed, we're dribbling, dropping, coming back, doing a crossover and then finishing a layup, okay? Awesome. So I want you to do three on either side. Ready, go. And I'll shoot a jump shot. Good job, good job, guys. So three laps either side. No hoops inside. <laughs> All right, you don't have a hoop. That's okay. If you don't have a hoop, I want you to just try and practice doing the same moves just with the dribbling, okay? So just doing the drop and then the crossover back. Oh, guys. Awesome. Well done, Zach. All right. Can I ask everyone to go grab a quick drink and then come back? Thank you very much. All right, I can't see you, but I'm guessing everyone's back. Okay, cool. So, all we're gonna do is we're gonna keep using our three cones here. Now, the next thing we're working on is a stop. Okay, so the way I use a stop, so imagine that you're standing, um, I've got this line here, okay? So I think you can see this line. All right, if I'm dribbling on this line, imagine I'm running, I get up to this line, this foot's going forward, I'm bouncing it by the side of me, okay? So what it looks like is if you're in a game and I do my drop move, I stop 
I'm stopping the ball here. What it's good for is the defense is in front of you or on the side of you, and you're using your leg to protect the ball, okay? So you're using your leg to protect the ball from the defense there. Okay, so what we're going to do now, instead of our crossover back, we're going to, yeah, again, um, practice our drop. So really try and um, make your drop as wide as you can. Try and use your eyes to fake it out. Okay, so we're doing our drop. We have to our cone. We're stopping, and then we're coming back. Okay? This time, into a jump shot. So, again, drop, stop, come back, jump shot. Go for it. Three times each side. All right, I can see you. Wonderful. It's all working. Great job, guys. All right, once you're done with that, we're going to get into our next thing. So this time, we don't need our cones. We just need our ring, okay? Now, if you don't have a ring, you can just work on the footwork, okay? So we're going to start underneath the basket. Okay, now I'm not sure if I'll cut out, so I'll just go, I'll go for it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw the basketball out and we're gonna focus on forward pivoting. So a forward pivot is when we put our foot over the front of our toe, okay? So we're going forward into our jump shot. So starting under our ring, we're gonna throw the ball out, turn forward pivot into our shot. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to do it again, this time the other way. All right, so you're going to keep switching between going right and left forward pivots, okay? We're going to have a competition. Now, because I can't swipe through you, what I need you to do is once you've uh, made six, you've made six shots, I need you to turn on your audio and say done. All right, ready, set, go. So just once again, spinning that fastball out, pivoting into our jump shot. Okay, so starting, always starting underneath the ring. Spin it out, pivot, jump shot. Done. Good job. Well done. I think that was, done. I sound like Zach, but I'm not done. certain. Good job, guys. You know what? That confirms that you can hear me. So that makes me think I'm not as crazy as I thought I was. Awesome. Great job. All right. So now, this time we're going to do it. We're going to reverse pivot. That means my foot isn't going to go over the front of my toe. It's going to go behind my heel. Okay? So if I come here, it's going behind Oops, my heel. Okay, we'll turn like this. So, same again. Underneath the ring, tossing it out. We're going to reverse pivot. So, it's going behind my foot into our shot. Okay. And then you're going to rotate and switch and go the other way around. Okay, same again. Going for six makes. Six made shots. Ready, set, go. Done. 
done. Good job. Well done. Keep going, everyone. Done. Good job. Done. Well done. Awesome. Done. Good job. All right. This time we're gonna work on our forward pivots again, okay? But this time we're gonna add in a shot fake. So, shot fake, a couple of important things. You're making sure the ball gets up nice and high, okay? And you're making sure, because our saying is eyes sell lies, we're making sure that we're looking at the ring, okay, on our fake. So, what you're gonna do this time, you're gonna start under the ring again. You're gonna spin it out in front of you. You're gonna turn, Shot fake, one dribble, layup. Okay, and hopefully you make the layup. Okay, and same thing, other side. So turn, forward, pivot, shot fake, layup. Okay, so important thing to remember is on the catch, be nice and low and get creative with your layups. All right, on uh, first person to six, ready, set, go. Done. Well done. done. Good job. Done. Good job, guys. Awesome. All right. This time, we're going to do the same thing, but now on our reverse pivot, okay? So, coming out, reverse pivoting, shot fake, one dribble layup. Okay, so spin it out. Oh, I got something in my eye. Reverse pivot, shot fake, one dribble layup. First to six, ready, set, go. Done. Well done. Done. Good job, good job, good job. All right. Done. Well done. Awesome. Okay. Now. Done. Well done. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to add a step back. So this sounds very, very fun. So a step back, for those who don't know, when you're dribbling the basketball, if you dribble when you go this way, so if I go right foot in front of my left, so come on. I'm going towards my left and I'm leading with my right foot. I'm then going to step with my right foot and jump back. Okay. If I go forward my left foot towards my right, jump back. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. But now after our forward pivot, we're not going to go for a layup. So we're forward pivoting into our shot fake, dribble, step back, shot. Okay. So I'll do that again. So, spin it out, forward pivot, shot fake, one dribble, step back, shot. All right, go the other way, forward pivot, shot fake, step back, shot. All right, same again, first person to six, three each side, ready, set, go. Done. Good job. Done. Well done. done. Awesome. All right. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. Okay, so now we're going to work on our jump stops and our pivots after our jump stops, okay? So what we're going to do we're gonna throw the ball out. 
We're going to reverse pivot. After we reverse pivot, either way, you're going to dribble, jump stop, and reverse pivot again. Okay? Now, you have a reverse layup. Okay? So, the other way, throw it out. Spin, one dribble, jump stop, reverse pivot, layup. Okay, so we're working on a reverse pivots and a reverse layup finishes. Okay, so might be a little bit tricky, but we'll see how we go. Reverse pivot, one dribble, jump stop, reverse pivot. Okay, so again, six total, three the side. Ready, set, go. So remember a reverse pivot is when we're going behind our heel. Okay, we're reversing. Reverse pivot. Dad. Good job. Done. Done. Well done. Done. well done. Awesome job, guys. Done. All right. Great. All right, we're going to do the same thing now with our forward pivots. So, throwing it out, forward pivot, one dribble, forward pivot. Oops. Actually, this time, I want you to finish. Um, how do I do that? No, nah, it's okay. We'll do the same thing, okay? So dribble, throw it out, forward pivot, one dribble, jump stop into our reverse again, okay? All right, ready, set, go. Done. Well done. Good job. Done. Awesome. Done. Good job. All right, awesome. The last thing we're gonna finish with, for those who are with me, um, we're gonna finish off with some tricks, okay? So you've learned a lot of basketball skills. We've learned some dribbling, some crossovers, and um, we've practiced a lot of good stuff. Good job. Um, but now we're just gonna finish off with some skill, uh, some little tricks, okay? So these are things you can show your parents, you can show your siblings, you can show your dog, you can show your teachers, okay? All your friends, all right? And it's just something cool you can do with a basketball. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, we're standing on one leg. Our other knee is in front of this leg, okay? And what you're gonna do, you're gonna dribble down and bounce it off this knee, okay? So you want to bounce it. So it's going to go down on the ground first. So ground first, and then ground, then knee, and then ground again. Okay? So it's going to go ground, knee, ground, back into your hand. Ready? I want everyone to try and practice that. So remember, you're balancing on one leg, putting this other knee forward. Ground, knee, ground, back into your hand. Give it a try. I can't see you, but I'm sure you're doing great. Good job, Zara. All right, awesome. Our final skill, our final little trick. Um, okay. This one is a little bit tricky. 
I'm sure you guys can do it. Okay, so what you're going to do, I need you to be able to throw the ball and make it spin around like this. So not like this or like this, like when you shoot it, or make it spin like that, but we'll make it spin sideways, okay? You need to spin sideways, you need to bounce straight up and down. Now, that is actually cool enough in itself. So what you might notice is when you throw it up and spin it sideways, the ball, even though you threw it and swing this way, once it bounces, it will start spinning the other way. So I want you to try and learn that. So practice just throwing up, spin it. Once it lands, it will then spin the other way. Awesome. All right. The second part to this, we're going to put our hands on top of each other, okay, with our palms facing to the ground, okay? So like this. We're going to have a big O, okay? So put them out in front of you and bend your elbows. So now, after you throw the ball and spin it like sideways, you're going to put your hands like this and you're going to land the ball on the back of your hand and watch what happens. The ball goes around your chest. Okay, so spin it up, catch it, and the ball will go around your chest. It'll be spinning. All right, so this is the skill I want you guys to try and learn. Go for it. If the first skill is good enough for you, then that is absolutely okay. Throw it up, spin, it'll drop, and it'll spin the other way. I don't know how it works. Just the magic of basketballs, I guess. Awesome. All right, guys. Great job. I just want to say thank you all very much for coming out and playing basketball with me and training a little bit. Um, I hope you're all having a good time um, in lockdown, enjoying the warm weather. And I uh, no doubt I'll see you guys soon once we're back into it. So have a good one. Practice those skills. The last one is very hard. I'm sure you get it. See you later. Bye. See you guys. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys.